So we start off in verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. You can't misconstrue that statement. There, there's no way of, of you know, I'm, I'm not even saying anything else about it other than, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. That's what the Bible says. I haven't even given an explanation on that verse. It doesn't need one. I could further clarify it by saying, yeah, that means exactly what it says. And when it says to submit, it means that you're, you're showing that the husband has the authority within the household. And being in submission means you're allowing your husband to make the decisions and to guide the house and to be the one in charge of things. That's, that's showing the, the position of, of power or authority is given to the husband. And that God has commanded the wives to submit themselves on your own husband's and so much so that he adds as unto the Lord. That's a lot of submission. When you think about how should we be submitting ourselves to the Lord, well, he's, he's calling on wives here to submit themselves unto their own husbands as unto the Lord. He's, it's a big deal for God. Now, again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that point. It's just important as we're going through this, we're looking at the scripture. This is wives and husbands. Let's hear it. Let's hear from the word of God. Verse 23, for the husband is the head of the wife. This is, you know, this isn't just the Apostle Paul speaking his opinion. You know, we believe that holy men spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. That, that God is giving us his word through man. And that that's exactly what's being done here in the book of Ephesians. The husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church and he is the savior of the body. Now, since we're talking about Father's Day and, you know, and husbands here particularly, um, husband is the head of the wife. Men, if you want to be a good father, first of all, you need to, excuse me, understand what your role is in the family. And in order to be the head, in order to be the boss, in order to be in charge of a family, you can't be lazy. You know, if you work for a boss that's just extremely lazy and doesn't want to do anything, you know, Either that boss is going to be replaced sooner or later. I'm talking about like in a company, right? Like you work for someone, you have a boss that's just extremely lazy and doesn't want to do anything, and they don't, they don't like having responsibility, and they just kind of give all their responsibility to everyone else, and they don't end up doing anything. Well, they're going to find out quickly people above them are going to realize, hey, this, guy, this guy's worthless. What do we have this guy around for? He's not taking his job seriously. He's not doing what he's supposed to be doing and taking on the responsibility and taking on tasks. He's going to be replaced, or if he's at the top, it's going to be, you know, that company's not going to be around very long. Right. It's going to be destroyed. Now, obviously, you know, no one should, husbands shouldn't be being replaced, <laughs> right? We're, we don't believe in divorce. The Bible says that God hates putting away, okay? When, when you make a vow, you're making it for life. But you need to understand that you, your family is not going to function properly when you do not get into your proper role. So just as wives ought to be submissive to their husbands, well, it's real hard for a wife to be submissive to her husband when you're not being a leader at the home, when you're not taking charge, when you're not stepping up to the plate and, and taking the reins of the family and making important decisions and guiding the family the way that you see fit because that is the responsibility that God has given unto you.